Alright guys, today in Medicare Tools, we are going to do a versus video between the Hilti Neuron TE4 against the TE6. Now this is a bigger, heavier tool. I'll show you guys the specs per tool as it's doing its warm-up hole. And I just want to point out that I am not under contract with Hilti whatsoever, nor am I being paid for this. Uh, this is pretty much like a, a product review sort of sponsorship. And for in this video, we are going to be using Diablo Rebar Demon uh, Bits. A half inch by 10 inch by 12 inch. These do fit in just like so. Installing these in SDS hammer bits are pretty simple and that's it. It is now good to go and release it. Just do that then pull it out. Done. Number four of these Diablo bits, these were $23, $21 each I think. I'll put the proper price in right now. So next, let's do the TE6. It's, let's do its warm-up pull. We are not going to do the vacuum attachment on this. We're, these tools are using a 4 amp hour battery. Battery is full on the TE4. This tool weighs 6 pounds, 15.7 ounces. TE6 battery is full as well. And this tool weighs eight pounds and 0 0.6 ounces. That is actually a huge difference in weight. So let's see what these can do against each other. But before we go to that, I just want to give a shout out to Tinker with Tools. He is a brand new channel that I've recently found and I've been watching his videos. And so please go check him out. He, uh, last time I saw he had 112 subscribers. He might have more now, but this channel supports all tool channels on YouTube from all the way up to Project Farm, all the way down to the beginners and everything in between. So please go check out Tinker with Tools. The more information with different perspective of these tool reviews is needed. As you guys know, tools are expensive. Tinker with Tools, keep uploading the videos, man. We need this information because tools are expensive. All right, so let's do f uh, five holes in a row for the TE4. Alright, we're actually going to redo that one since that completely broke off. That's five. Battery. Went down one bar on the four amp hour for the TE4. Right, let's vacuum this all up. Reason I love using that vacuum on this because no dust comes off it comes off the seams. We're gonna do uh, six holes with the TE6, but we're only gonna count five, so it has the same battery wear. Three. All right, let's do one over here. We're not going to count this one. This one's for battery. Uh, this one's for the battery to make it even. All right, now let's finish the final two. If my, if I'm counting correctly. All 
All right. So the same thing for the TE6. One batter, one bar uh, has been depleted. Three bars remaining. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are just going to do five more holes each, and we're we are going to count the fifth hole. Now let's see what happens with that. Let's vacuum this up. What I used to do is just pretty much like leaf blow this to outside, but since I have this, I'm going to vacuum this stuff up from now on. I love it that nothing comes out of the seams. That's seriously awesome. All right, so let's do five holes, and then we're going to count the last one. And I want to reposition the camera really quick. That's better. Let's continue. We're going to time this one. Five. All right, so the TE4 did 10 nine and a half inch deep holes and it used up two bars. But with this depth, I'm gonna assume that this could probably do like 20 to 23 holes at nine and a half inches. That's actually, pre that's actually pretty good for a four amp hour battery. All right, so. Let's do five holes with the TE6. And we're gonna time the last one. And we're going to time this one. I don't know. Five. All right. So. All right, so for the T6 to do 10 holes at nine and a half inches deep, this has two bars left, but because of the size of the motor compared to the TE4, I can tell, I don't know the test results until I edit the video, but I can tell that the last hole, the TE6 struggled a little bit more than the TE4, just because the size of the motor and what's left in the battery. That's getting heavy. I probably need to change that out soon. So I don't know the test results until I edit the video, but these, I love SDS hammer drills. And just so you guys know, during summer, I seriously want to hardcore test out SDS hammer drills left and right. And as you guys can see from this footage, I have a ton of these blocks that I can get rid of that I have no use for because I seriously would like these gone in the, within the next couple of years. So I actually have a lot of these concrete blocks to get rid of. You know, uh, of course I don't have to throw them away. I want to use them. Every tool channel has a favorite category of tools to test out. This channel's favorite tool to test out is hammer drills. And now it's also SDS hammer drills. I want to say one more time, I am not under any contract with Hilti. When it comes to testing these tools out, I am not being paid for to test these tools out. Hilti just sent me these just to do the regular videos that I do. I thank you much, Miss Wilson, for doing that. This is my new favorite tool that I own. Like this setup right here is awesome. I like this more than the TE6. The TE4 is a perfect size. It has plenty of power. And I seriously love this tool. It's my favorite tool that I have now. The final battery life on this is three bars. And the final battery life on the TE6 is two bars 
and that's because for a low amp hour battery, like a four amp hour battery, this motor is big enough to where to do the same thing that this did, this one requires more power. So this one is probably advised to use like an eight amp hour battery. So that just tells me that a bigger amp hour battery would be better in this tool than it would be in the TE4. All right, so that's pretty much it guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.